Hello, my name is Tahani Hemden. I am 26 years old from Houston, Texas. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis at the age of 20 in 2009. My first symptom, I remember it very clearly. I was um, actually at Texas A&M University where I was standing in line to get Jeff Corwin's signature from the animal planet. He had, he had a performance that day and suddenly while I was standing in line to get the signature, I had double vision. I thought maybe my contact lenses are just dry, maybe I just didn't get enough sleep and take off my lenses, I'll be fine. I went home later that night. Uh, I realized that after I took off my contact lenses, I still had double vision. Uh, I went to an ophthalmologist. I had CAT scans. I had to make sure that I didn't have brain cancer. Um, that was ruled out. The ophthalmologist ordered MRIs, and from the MRIs, the ophthalmologist said that I have possibly multiple sclerosis. He referred me to a multiple sclerosis neurologist. The neurologist um, from the MRIs, he determined that I do have the multiple sclerosis. The I went through the diagnosis stage for two months, and on December 31st, 2009, it was confirmed that I do have multiple sclerosis. I was initially put on um, Copaxone, which was a daily injection. At the time, they did not have any, um, any oral medications, any pills when I was diagnosed back in 2009. The Copaxone did not work for me. I had more relapses. For about two and a half years, I was on Copaxone. Later, I was placed on Rebif, which is a three times a week injection. I still had more lesions and progressed. Um, since 2014, February 2014, I've been placed on Tecfidera, which is a twice a day pill. I've been stable thus since. However, my, my symptoms are still present. Um, I still have the, the constant muscle spasms particularly in my lower right back. The, the muscle spasms are extremely painful. The, the only things that are somewhat alleviate them are the, the Norco, the hydrocodone 10 over 325, as well as the, the ibuprofen. I've been taking several uh, painkillers just to try to alleviate the muscle spasms. However, that has not been very helpful for me. Um, the muscle spasms are constant. Some of the other symptoms that I've had for multiple sclerosis have been loss of feeling. In 2014, I lost the entire feeling from the right side of my ribs on down to my in entire right leg. I could not feel my, my leg for about four months. Um, other symptoms have been vertigo. Um, also wash my hands with cold water I would feel as if I was washing my hands with fire a extreme burning sensation and I did not realize that was an MS symptom until later um, I think the the muscle spasms the doctors just continue to give me prescriptions and that has not been very helpful all it does is keep my my pain alleviated for a couple minutes and but that's it. It's, it's sort of a way, I guess I, I say, it's like putting makeup on a pig. It doesn't change the fact that it's still a pig. You just wa you can wash the, way, the makeup any other minute, and what did we accomplish? Nothing. It's still going to be a pig. Um, I would like to try physical therapy to try to strengthen my back. I have a lot of weakness in my back as a result of the muscle spasms. Um, anything to, to decrease the pain because the medications don't do very much and I feel like maybe trying physical therapy would actually target the issue and help me strengthen my back and decrease the amount of muscle spasms I have. Um, it's been extremely painful for me to even go to school or to work because I'm constantly worrying about can I take my prescription? Can I can I manage to sit for a long period of time without being in a major amount of pain? So I feel like if I tried physical therapy, it might actually try target the issue and help me to help me try to get over some of the the multiple sclerosis pain 
symptoms, the pain and other issues that are accompanied from multiple sclerosis and increase my amount of strength. Thank you.